quickly put this headband on to get my crazy hair out of the way. And I'm going to start with my eyes, which I haven't done in a long time because the minute I start with my eyes, I feel like everything just takes forever. So to start off this look, of course, I'm going to go in with an eyeshadow primer. And as always, I'm going to be using the Urban Decay Anti-Aging Eyeshadow Primer. So actually, my silliness forgot all of my eyeshadow brushes. So today I'm actually just going to do a really easy monochromatic look for you guys. I'm just so sick of myself. Um, just when I actually sit down to film for YouTube, this is, this is what happens. So I'm going to go with this Bobbi Brown Pot Rouge. And using my ring finger, I'm just going to dab this all over my lid. I have to say this is the second time ever I've ever done a pink eye look on myself because I don't really like the vibe. So far, so good. And I think it's gonna all even out once I place the blush and my lips as well. So that is the eye look, super simple. And now for mascara, I'm just going to quickly curl my lashes. I'm gonna go in with uh, a waterproof mascara to start. This is the Maybelline Hyper Curl one. I always look down on a little mirror to help avoid getting any mascara on my eyelids and it really helps you make sure that you get through every single lash and that way it coats evenly everywhere. You know, and I say that and I still get some on my eyelids. It's crazy. I've been kind of practicing putting on mascara without making weird faces for the for videos and even though it works, it's just not the same as when you do open your mouth. I just, I, I just feel like that's when you can be more precise and you don't get any mascara on yourself. My lashes have been so bomb because I haven't been doing a lot of makeup and also of course Hollywood Lashes Bangkok Lash Serum. And I'm going to go in with a normal mascara in black. This is the Benefit Cosmetics one. Making sure you put waterproof first really helps prevent any smudging for me because for the longest time I just cannot find any mascara that will not smudge, even waterproof ones, especially in humid countries like Thailand. So now I'm gonna start with my complexion. Oh, it is hot in here. I'm gonna go in with a primer. This is the Laura Mercier Foundation Primer in Radiance. Just gonna massage it in with my hand. I find that your hands and fingers are the best applicators for base products. It just really helps melt products into your skin super well. I love how glowy and basically radiant as the primer says. The one thing about this primer though, I don't know, it's because of like maybe how old it is by now that I've had it in my kit. When it gets tacky, if you keep rubbing it, there is this feeling of like it's almost going to pill, but it doesn't, but it still scares me. So what I do end up doing is tapping it into my skin really well. I like to make sure that the base product is really well massaged into the skin. It doesn't look like I have any primer on, except now this added radiance to my complexion, which is actually really nice. For foundation, I discovered a new little cocktail, um, which I created based off of color, um, the two shades that I have. This is the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation in the shade Bronze Beige, and I have this BH Liquid Foundation, uh, Naturally Flawless, in the shade 216, which is Light Rose. I mix these two together because this one is too light for me sometimes. Or, you know what, it's the perfect shade but I'm just so not used to it and then this is like too dark and too pink. And this is just kind of like the right amount. So I feel like these two go really well together. I tested it last weekend for a day and it, I think it looked great on me. So I'm gonna mix it on the back of my hand first and then I'm gonna apply it to my face. So this is the Wet n Wild shade. As you can see that it's like much lighter than my actual body right now. And I'm gonna go in with this. I'm just gonna do a pump, I think, yep. It's so different. And I feel like the Wet n Wild one just helps really kind of balances the yellow golden undertones that I need because this is hella pink. I think this is actually now <laughs> too dark. Let's try this. It's pretty dark. It's pretty dark. Okay. I'm gonna maybe add a little bit more of the Wet n Wild and then call it a day. I added just like this much. I think it's just a really smart way to kind of mix the shade that you need or that you want to have. That's a bit better. Okay. 
and uh, not only does it help you save money but it's just it's not a waste everyone has the right to find their own shade without having to mix um, every brand should be inclusive but sometimes I have to say that if your skin color changes so often especially um, like I do I spend a lot of time kind of in and out of the sun I'm not on purpose of course and I wear a lot of SPF but with that being said it's I feel like there's never enough SP SPF no matter how much I apply no matter there's just so much nature going on here no matter how much I apply SPF and then no matter how well I like use sun protection like umbrellas hats and like keeping my head out of the sun also re reapplication is not a joke I feel like this is still kind of too pink okay so the finish is really nice I have to say that the coverage is medium to full especially that it's got two types of foundation on that are both kind of buildable and medium to high I think I think if you were to add another layer you could totally get this to be full coverage because this is pretty full to me but if you compare it to my neck and my chest off camera I'm like yellow and this is like darker I don't think I did a good job of mixing the colors, but I think it looks okay. I can definitely skip bronzing when it comes to this. For concealer, I'm going in with this brightener. It's like a Radiant Touch Magic Wand by It Cosmetics. It's very similar to the YSL Touche Clat, but I think it has more coverage. I cannot get this to open. So it's like a wand. You've probably seen me use this on my Instagram already, but I'm just gonna place this in the corners of my eyes. This is like the only areas I really need touching up and I don't want to over conceal, I have to say. It's just to quite kind of brighten a little bit. I really need to really get used to slowly kind of implementing lighter foundations on my skin. I just feel like I've been doing way too much of this like tanning look. Not on purpose, I just thought that I was like still really crazy tan, but it just looks, I feel like it looks bad. Like I don't like it when complexions and the bodies just don't match. I always leave the eyes to last if I remember. Kind of adds more coverage. You see that kind of gave the slightest, most natural brightening because it's not too high coverage. And the undertones are different from the foundation, so I feel like it really helps balance it out. Because this is this undertone is neutral, not my skin tone at all, but with the mixture of the foundation being kind of golden olive mixing with something pink, <laughs> having something neutral kind of, I think, balances it out pretty well. Okay, to set my face, I'm going to go with this Revlon Touch & Glow loose setting powder. I like this one because it doesn't take away the moisture of my skin. It actually claims that it's like moisturizing and all that. But before I set, I'm going to quickly dab away the concealer a little bit. It was kind of settling into the fine lines underneath my eyes, which yes, I do have. So I'm just going to dab a little bit of the powder in the T-zone and the high points of my face to set where I highlighted with that It Cosmetics brightening pen. And you know what? People who are sensitive to fragrances, they can't use this powder. And that's because the fragrance in this is so high. Like the way this powder sets is just so airbrush-like. I'm gonna put a little bit on my brows. It just kind of helps to fill in the brows a little easier. But um, look at this, the size of this powder. It's, it's, it's huge. Like I've been using this a long time and it just won't finish. There's about 43 grams of this. So I'm gonna go in with this Tarte Cream Highlighter. Because I already uh, have powder on my face, I'm gonna warm it up on my finger and then dab it on. The way cream applies on set face, it's so different. I think it's beautiful. And I've always avoided that because I feel like you're not supposed to do that. But I think if the products were created correctly, it shouldn't disrupt the base. I recently stopped applying highlighter on my brow bone because it really accentuates the space I have. And then it pulls away from the illusion of that my eyelid has more space than it actually does. 
So I only focus it on the, my nose and the top of my cheekbones. And I don't even do it above my eyebrow bone anymore either. So I think I'm gonna skip bronzing, which sounds crazy. I will contour my face. So I'm gonna go in with my Contour Diaries by Pure Cosmetics. I just focus on the points where I normally contour. I like to contour right here so it looks like it really pulls the eye area, like pull it back. I have to say that this contour shade is pretty light for me now. So sometimes I go in a little heavy. I'm not being really precise because I left my smaller brushes in Bangkok. But I'm just gonna lightly dust this around my nose. It feels really important to also get the chin area and just above the jawline that's where the contour should be really makes the cheeks smaller for me and that's why i like subtle contour shades so now i'm going to apply some powder blush this is the kevin aquan neo bronzer so it's a bronzer this is in the shade sienna which is a warm coral and it has this beautiful gradient that kind of works as a highlighter a blush and um a really glittery warm bronzer but what i like to do is I take a nice little brush brush and I just kind of dab it all across to get that evenly and just ever so slightly warm up my cheeks I think that's beautiful that matches my eyes that's cute so my camera overheated <laughs> You did not miss out on anything. But what I did miss out on was that I forgot to apply a cream blush before I did a powder brush. So I'm wondering, since it's okay to sometimes apply cream products on top of powder, what it's gonna be like to apply this Nude Sticks um, Tiger Lily Queen Nudies on top of it. So I actually might do that right now. So I'm gonna use my fingers. I'm gonna dab, dab, dab into this beautiful color. It's a different shade, but let's see what happens. I feel like it just lasts longer on top of powder. That is not bad. Ooh, that's cute. I'm gonna connect it to the eyes a little bit. Perfect. Now I'm going to do my lips and then I'm going to do my brows last. I'm actually going to take this MAC Pro Long Wear Lip Pencil in Nice and Spicy. It's a similar shade to the Bobbi Brown Pot Rouge. I always overline my lips just at the top so it looks really natural. Lip liners just really make a whole difference. Look at that. Beautiful. So now I'm going to take the same pot rouge that, you, that I use on my eyes. Just dab, dab, dab. It has a slightly different shade from the Nice and Spicy. The Nice and Spicy is a little bit more beige, more brown. And this is a little bit more on the pink side, so it adds a little nice contour to the lips. There we go. It's so easy to do. So now I'm going to do my brows, and I'll be right back. So my brows are now done. I'm going to spritz my face. This is the Cover FX High Performance Setting Spray. Let that dry a little bit. And then now I'm going to put some loose shimmer powder on. This is the Laura Mercier Translucent Glow Shimmer Powder. So again, I only apply this on my cheeks, my nose bridge, the tip, and the cupid's bow. And... That's it, you guys. So that is the monochromatic look that I did. And this is what I ended up with. I'm very surprised at how cute this is because I didn't think that monochromatic looks would look good on me ever. I think it would actually help if I set the eyes a little bit. But other than that, I think everything else is pretty fine. If you like it or, I don't know, have comments, like, share, subscribe below, and hit that notification button so you will always know when I upload. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.